happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i'm going to be testing out foils for the second time um i'm going to do some more practice i'm getting ready to do a set with some foils and i wanted to practice with a new foil glue so i'm actually going to be testing out the mccart um nail art foil stickers along with the mccart um, nail art foil glue. I've been doing a lot of research on uh, just watching a lot of different videos trying to get different techniques and hacks for um, how to apply foils and I actually I saw one lady I'm so sad I forgot her name but she actually um, wiped the back of her foil with alcohol that. Yeah, she wiped the back of her foils with alcohol to get it to adhere properly. So if I can remember the name, I'm going to leave everything linked down in the description box. But yeah, y'all. So let's hop right on into this. So this is the McCart foil glue. And this is how it comes packaged here. So it has the instructions and then the actual bottle. So it is a 15 ml container, which is really nice. I love it when companies do full size bottles. And let's see what the consistency of it looks like. Okay. It's of a thicker consistency and actually it's of a thicker consistency. The only other foil glue that I've used up to this point is the Beatles foil glue um, and I do have a dedicated review on that um, so I'll leave that linked in the description but it kind of reminds me of that. It doesn't smell as strong as the Beatles foil glue though so that's kind of nice. So we have that and then let's take a quick look at the instructions. So here it says you're supposed to cut a piece of the foil, file shape nail, apply base coat, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it says McCart nail foil glue. You're supposed to cure it for two minutes in the UV LED lamp. Put the foil on, make sure it covers the entire nail. Gently smooth it over the, the nail. Peel off slowly, seal with top coat. Okay, so that sounds good to me. Sounds easy enough, okay. So this is a two minute cure time which is longer than the Beatles one. The Beatles one was only 60 seconds. And so these are the foils, and these are some really cool like galaxy foils, you guys. Like these are really, really cool and really pretty. So I am gonna be testing at least one of the foils from here. I also have um, foils. I actually received these foils in my Your Nail Lab, the McCart Your Nail Lab. Um, subscription box and so I was really drawn to these two foils so I definitely want to use one of those two. This is actually my entire foil collection here so I'm going to go through and just pull out a few foils from here. I think I want to do at least you know I'm going to do at least five or six nails here. I like five or six nails here so let's see what foils we got here. Okay, so I have a couple of foils here. I have, these are the ones I'm gonna be trying out here. As you all can see, I definitely need more storage for my foils. That whole case is like completely filled up, so I actually need to go and buy another one of those. But uh, yeah, y'all, so let's look here. I'm thinking about which one of these I wanna try. I think I wanna try one of these purple galaxies. So I think we'll go with this one from the kit, this one here, and then also this one. I like the fact that it has that little star on it, so I wanna try to, you know, capture that. And then these two, I guess I'll be doing 10 nails, y'all, cause these are all so pretty. Oh, this blue really caught my eye. It's so pretty. And I love the fact that this had like a hollow thing to it. Oh, that's nice. All right, y'all, so I have two, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll probably end up doing 10 nails total here in this video, but these are all the foils I'm gonna be testing out here. So I do have a couple of colors that I wanna do. I'm gonna start with five first. Since these are already out, I'm gonna go ahead and just use those first. So we got, oh, these are all McCart. This is what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna do the one McCart one for now. I'm do my little galaxy one. I'm gonna do this snake print one. And then I wanna try this yellow plaid one and then I'm also going to try this transparent flame one so yeah these are the ones I'm going to try out for now so let's get to swatching y'all I think I have everything ready I do have my nail tips 
all ready to go. Uh, these are the foils that I'm going to do. I want to test out first. We got the first five up and ready. These are the gel polishes I'm going to use that kind of coordinate with everything. So, um, let's see. So for this Galaxy foil, I'm going to go in Pink Panther for Nail Addict. For this Flame foil, I'm actually going to go in with this beautiful nude from Madame Glam. And it's called Pivot. Okay. For this beautiful blue color, I'm going to go in with this blue that I have from Beatles. For this yellow from Nail Addict, I'm going to go in with Just a Flirt. For this cool like uh, snake skin foil here, I'm going to go in with this purple called Friday Night. I'm going to go ahead and swatch everything off camera. I'm going to do two coats of all of the gel polishes on all of my tips and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have applied all of the colors to the nails. I actually, for this last nail, I decided to go in with this pink from uh, Beatles instead, just to kind of give a different effect to the nail. Um, and so, yeah, y'all, we're gonna hop right on into this. I ended up doing only one coat as well of the gel polishes. I realized since I'm covering it with foil, I really don't need two coats. I just did one, so that's what one coat coverage looks like for everything. Okay, so now I have my uh, McCart Nail Art Foil Glue, and I'm going to go ahead and apply it to, I think I'm going to do two nails at a time because I'm going to try the method where I let it cool off for a little bit, and you know, it said, um, I saw that when you let it cool for at least 30 seconds to a minute that the foil transfers a little bit easier. So I'm going to do two nails, and I think by the time I finish with one nail, the other one should be cool enough for me to, to go in with it. So I'm doing a thin layer of the foil glue on the first two, two first two practice nails that I have here. And yeah, yeah, let's let's see how this goes. Okay, let's see how this goes. That looks good to me. I'm going to cure this for two full minutes. Okay, so I just uh, cured this for a full two minutes. I'm going to go in with this now first. And I'm going to try to see if this Galaxy foil will transfer. So I want to try it without the rubbing alcohol first just to see um, is that step really necessary, you know. Um, so I'm going to I can get the foil. <laughs> so I'm going to take the foil here and I think I want it this way on the nail. And I'm just going to set it down like so. And then press down in the middle, top and bottom. And then I'm just going to rub the image until it starts to transfer and just rub, 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 rub. So I'm going to rub, 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 rub. I am seeing some wrinkles here, but I hope that doesn't affect the transfer too much. Um, and when you're rubbing, y'all, y'all want to give it a little bit of elbow grease, you know. And I typically, I rub until I pretty much, until the image kind of naturally lifts from the actual foil itself. Um, and once I see it start lifting at the corners and at the top and at the tip and everything, that's when I kind of go in and try to remove the foil. But I'll just keep rubbing until, you know, I can't rub anymore, really. I think that should be good. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it right here, y'all. Oh, okay. So overall, that turned out pretty good, if I do say so myself, right? That looks pretty darn good to me. You can see here in the center, you know, it didn't transfer. And a lot of times with that, um, that's why you go in with a color that's similar to the one you're using. But I'm just going to try to go in over that, that same spot that I missed and see if I can get the rest of the image to transfer. So let's see here. So I'm gonna just kind of rub that area right here and see if I can get that piece to kind of come on off the, the foil here. Nope, it did not. Okay, yep. It filled it in enough here. So this is what's left on the foil. That's where I had that wrinkle at. But honestly, because I used the background color that was the same, y'all see how good that transferred? To me, that looks really good, okay? And then on the side here, you see there's another little wrinkle. But then again, um, once I add top coat, you won't even be able to tell that. You won't even be able to notice that, so that's awesome. That's transfer number one. Transfer number two, this is actually a transparent background here. So, um, yeah, I think I want to pick this really cool. Actually, I don't even know that I need this whole piece. I really just kind of want this little bird 
here. I really just want that piece on the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut out the image that I want. My tweezers. And then I'm just gonna place it on the nail. Like so. I think I want it like so, like this. Okay, it still feels sticky, which is good. And that's set for like, a, you know, a couple of minutes there. Let's see if it'll still transfer to the entire nail. Okay, and then you're just supposed to keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. On this one, I might even take my little silicone tool. Yeah, okay, so you see how none of that transferred? I think I let it cool off too long, so I need to do one nail at a time here. Um, so I'm gonna go in with another layer of this transfer foil and see if I can get this to transfer, okay? So one nail at a time is important. So I went ahead and cured this again for two minutes and um, it's been about 30 seconds. So now I'm gonna go in with that same transfer foil, you guys. And I'm gonna lay it across the nail here, how I want the image to go. And then I'm gonna lay it across the image like this, like right here, okay? And it definitely, that definitely feels stickier already. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press down, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. So make sure you just don't let it cool for too long. And then I have my silicone tool here and I'm just gonna use that to kinda, you know, uh, rub it down a little bit. My nails are kinda long, so it's a little bit hard for me to, um, you know, rub it really good and have you all still be able to see what's going on. So I'm just gonna rub, 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 rub until I cannot rub no more. Huh. Hey y'all, uh, is it just me or am I doing this wrong? Yeah, that didn't transfer at all. Let me see if I do it this way. Do I have it backwards? Let's see what's happening here, y'all. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so this is a foil that I got from Shein. And as y'all can see, like I've tried it three or four different times and it just does not want to transfer. So I'm not sure if it's the foil or if it's me, but um, yeah, I know that first one worked. So I don't think it's me. I think it might be the foil. I tried both sides of the foil. It didn't work. I tried it with a fresh thing of the foil glue. It didn't work. This is a sticky surface, right? So I'm not really sure why it's not sticking to it. So um, yeah, that was kind of a bust. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with a different foil instead, okay? I'll come back to this nail later. That's what I'll do. Okay, uh, so that didn't, it did not play well with that Shein foil. So now I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go in with maybe like this green color. And I think I might just go ahead and try to test this foil out, you know? So let's give that a go. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and polish this and um, do a layer of foil glue and then get ready to see if it'll transfer. Okay, so I have let um, this cure with the foil glue on it. It's been about 30 seconds. I went ahead and just painted over this with this um, green color from Beatles, okay? So let's see how this works. I think it's the foil and not me, you guys. So let's see. But this is another McCart foil. So next time when I do this, um, I need to go in with another Shein foil. I think I have one more Shein foil that I want to try out. Um, so I'm going to go up and down first. Okay. So up and down first. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the side. Right. Go to the side. I didn't cut it long enough, but that's okay. This is just for practice. So I'm gonna go in and just continue rubbing and rubbing and rubbing until you can't rub anymore. Again, you wanna make sure you don't have like any wrinkles in the foil. Um, this one feels like it's transferring. I'm not really sure here. Let's see. Let's see how this goes, y'all. Now I'm like nervous. The first one came out good and now that, that the one from Shein threw me off a little bit, y'all. Okay, yes, yeah, it's, it's transferring. So that's good, let's see. Okay, oops, <laughs> it rubbed so hard, my little glue. <laughs> my little sticky tag didn't make it, y'all. Let me put this right back on here, okay? My little sticky tag said, look, I ain't got nowhere to go. I didn't rub it all off. 
for a sticky tack. All right. <laughs> All right, that's feeling pretty good. I don't know. I see some separation here, so let's let's pull it apart and see, y'all. Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay, let's let's take a look at that. Look at that. Right. So no doubt about it, the foil, the McCart foil glue works with the McCart foil. So that's no doubt about that. Okay. So let's try it now with, I want to try it with my Young Nails foil, okay? So this one, this yellow one, the yellow nail I was going to do is Young Nails. So I want to try that next and see if it, if it works. Because so far, I'm able to get the McCart one to transfer fairly easy. So let's see how it works with Young Nails foils. Because it did not play well at all with my Shein foil, which was very disappointing because I have a lot of foils from Shein. So I might have to play around with different curing times for the Shein foil, you know? Because I know with the Beatles glue, I had to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna let this cure for two minutes, cool for 30 seconds, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the yellow is cured for two minutes, and it's been about 30 seconds. So I am gonna go ahead and go in with this foil from Young Nails, okay? Then I'm just gonna place it down the center of the nail, okay? It seems sticky, which is a good sign, okay? And then I wanna go up and down the middle first, okay? So I'm gonna go up and down the middle first, okay? Try to get the side a little bit, get the side a little bit. This looks like it's gonna transfer well. And then I'm gonna rub, 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 okay? I'm gonna try not to rub my little my little sticky tack out again this time, y'all, cause that little sticky tack wasn't gonna make it. Oh yes, wow. Okay, I can already see how good it's transferring. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's get the other side here. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a nice clean transfer. Okay, not bad at it. So that's feeling, it's feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna lift the corner here and see. Okay, I don't think that's ready yet. Let's keep rubbing. Not too bad, okay? So that's what it's looking like here. Not too bad. So the parts where I had the wrinkles at, so essentially here, and you know, kinda here, kinda a little bit all throughout, you know, where the wrinkles were was where it didn't transfer. But everywhere else it transferred really good. So this is what the sheet looks like. This is what was left on here, okay? So not bad, not bad. I found that when I try to go back in over top, once I've pulled it off, I can't really still get it to stick. Um, I'm gonna try it here again though. And you know, I might get lucky. Let's just try and see if it might transfer a little bit more. I don't think it will though. Yeah, it didn't. Let's see even if I go in with another, like a full. Yeah, so it's like once I once I pull it, I feel like once the glue dries, it dries, right? But overall, not a bad transfer here. What do you guys think? Not bad at all. I'm not mad at it. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now let's go in with the next color here. This is another McCart foil, and actually, yeah, it's another McCart foil. So we know those are going to work, though. I've tried a few of those already. Let me see if I have another blue foil that I want to give a go. So I have this this foil. This is also from Young Nails. So let's try another Young Nails foil out and see how that works, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and prep this nail, all right? I'm gonna do a thin coat of the foil glue and let it cure for two minutes. Actually, I'm gonna let it cure for one minute. I wanna try out these different curing times. I'm gonna let it cure for one minute and see what happens, you know? That's cured for one minute and then I am going to um, I kind of want to, well, I'm not going to do the alcohol thing yet. I think I'll do the alcohol on my second set of nails. I just want to try everything here without the alcohol. I really like this gold piece because it kind of looks like gold foils, like foil flakes. And then I think I want to apply it, I think maybe sideways here, okay? 
And I'm going to take my silicone tool. Oh, I think I missed it. Okay, that's okay. I've laid it down. I'm going to take my silicone tool. Just go up and down the center of the nail first. Okay, then I'll go on the sides in the middle. And then I'll go diagonal with laying down and see if that helps me get a transfer of a helps me get a better transfer of the image here. It does look like it's sticking a little bit better already. I don't know if y'all can see it's already kind of peeling up from the, the um, foil there. So let me go ahead and just rub it down. I think, I think one minute might end up being better. Let's see. I think this is going to be a good transfer you guys so let's see what happens here yeah look at that look at that yeah that's like a flawless transfer right here look at that yeah I think I like one minute better you guys I think I like one minute better so if there is some remnants on here okay but that's where the wrinkles were but you can't even if you're looking at this image head-on you can't even tell that's a flawless transfer there Okay, yeah, I like that. So I think I want to try one minute for the next foil then. So this foil I have here is a Shein foil, okay? So I think I'm going to go ahead and do um, another coat on this little, this nail here. And I'm going to only do one minute for the Shein foil and see what happens. Because I think maybe that's what the issue was. Maybe two minutes is too long, you know? Okay, so this one is cured for one minute. Let me make sure... Okay, so this is the transfer side. And then I want, for this one, I want, do I want green or do I want blue? Let's do a little bit of both here. I think I'm gonna lay it down like that, okay. My silicone tool, I literally, I'm only using this just to lay it down, um, like the up and down on the nail, and then on the side. So for now, I'm just gonna go up, down on the nail. Do straight to the side, straight to the side, diagonal, diagonal, and then from there I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, push, 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 and rub, rub, rub. That's what I'm going to do now. And it looks like this was, is transferring better too. No, it's not. Oh, yes it is. Okay. I'm going to get sad there for a second. <laughs> Yeah, this is already peeling off of it. Okay, yeah. And then look at that. Boom. Yeesh. So, I mean, it, it transferred. It transferred, but I don't think I used the right background color. I don't like how that looks. I want to try this snake print again. I don't like how this looks. Um, but it, it didn't transfer all the way either. And the parts that didn't transfer was really just where I did not, um, like right here, where I didn't, um, what am I trying to say? Where there were wrinkles in the foil. So, okay y'all, it's time for round two. I'm gonna do round two of this, cause I think I can get it to work here. This is what we got for round one, okay? It looks like the best transfer we've had was the McCart with the foil, with the McCart foils and the McCart, McCart glue and then also Young Nails. And I found that for Young Nails in particular anyway, curing it for one minute and letting it cool for 30 seconds had a better transfer to me than the full two minutes, you know? Um, and then this one is another Shein foil. So the Shein foils will transfer, but I think one minute is actually better. So I think the second round, I'm just going to let it cure for one minute. I do feel like two minutes is a bit long in the lamp and it maybe dries it out a little bit more than it needs to. So yeah, y'all, let me go and prep some more colors on these nail tips and I'll be right back. Okay, happy people. I decided to break this video up into two parts because I did swatch um, five more nails with the McCart foil glue. So um, stay tuned to part two. I'm going to be releasing that video tomorrow. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I'll tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye